Hello everyone! Today, we are going to learn about the motherboard, its different parts and functions. Okay, so familiarizing motherboard is our laboratory number two, to be followed by the laboratory exercise uh, we post natin on our Google Classroom. Okay, now to start with, here's the mouse and keyboard port. Okay. So the mouse and keyboard ports, we all know that all computers have a keyboard port connected directly to the motherboard. Actually, there are two types of connectors. The oldest one is a special DIN connector, while the newest one is the mini DIN PS2 style connector. Many PCs use the PS2 style connectors for both keyboard and mouse, and the connectors are marked clearly for different usage. So that's the mouse and keyboard port. The next one is the USB port. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. It is an industry standard that creates specifications for connectors, cables, and protocols for connections. Power supply and communication among computers computer peripherals, as well as other desktops. There are a great many USB hardware, including several different connectors, of which is the USB Type-C, is the latest kind. Okay, and the next one is the parallel port. The parallel port is a kind of interface for attaching peripherals on desktops. The name of this kind of port is derived from the way the data is sent. That is, the, par the parallel ports send multiple bits of data at the same time. While the serial interfaces, on the contrary, sends bits one data at once. To achieve parallel data transfer, there are multiple data lines in the parallel port cables. And the parallel port cable is larger than the cable of a contemporary serial port, which only has one data line within. Okay, and the next one is the CPU chip. Ito. The CPU is the electronic circuit tree in a computer that executes instructions that make up a program. Uh, by the way, the CPU stands for the Central Processing Unit. It is also known as the central processor or the main processor. The CPU executes the basic logic, arithmetic, controlling, as well as input and output operations specified by the instructions in the desktop programs. And that's the CPU chip. The next one would be the RAM slots. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. So, RAM is a kind of computer memory that can be read and written. It is mainly used to save data and machine code. A RAM device permits data to be read or written in nearly the same amount of time, no matter where the data's physical location is in the memory. Compared to the direct access storage devices like hard drives, CD or DVD, and magnetic tapes, RAM media is much faster for data reading and writing. Okay, then the next one is the floppy disk controller. So the floppy disk controller is a special purpose chip and associated disk controller circuitry. It controls and directs reading from and writing uh, to a computer's floppy disk drive or the FDD okay and here's the IDE controller the IDE stands for integrated drive electronics okay so the devices used for connecting IDE Ethernet firewire USB and other systems can be called hosts adapter so the IDE controller refers to the host adapter a host adapter, also called a host controller or a host bus adapter, connects a computer to other network and storage devices. Okay, 
So IDE is responsible for that. Now, here's the PCI slot. The PCI stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect. Okay? So the PCI is a local computer bus for connecting hardware to a computer. It supports all the functions of a processor bus. PCI also usually been called conventional PCI to distinguish from its successor PCI Express or the PCIe. Now, what is the PCIe or the PCI Express? It is a high-speed serial computer expansion bus standard designed to replace the older PCI, such as the PCI-X and the AGP bus standard. It is a general use motherboard interface for the graphics card, SSDs, hard drives, Wi-Fi, as well as Ethernet hardware connections. And the next one is the ISA slot. ISA stands for the Industry Standard Architecture. So the ISA is the 16-bit internal bus of IMBPC-80 and similar computers that are based on the Intel and its immediate successors during the 1980s. It was backward compatible with the 8-bit bus, the 8088-based IBM PC largely. Okay, so the next is the CMOS battery. So the CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. Okay, and it is also called the memory battery, clock battery, or real-time clock, etc. Uh, it is generally a CR2032 lithium coin cell. The lifespan of the CMOS battery is estimated to be 3 years when the power supply unit is unplugged or switched off. Okay, now what is AGP? So AGP slot stands for the Accelerated Graphics Port Slot. Okay. It was designed as a high-speed point-to-point channel for connecting a video card or a graphics card to the computer system. Primarily, it was used to assist in the acceleration of 3D computer graphics, and it is originally designed to be a descendant of the PCI series of connections for video cards. Yet, it was replaced by the PCIe slots. Okay, so here comes the CPU socket. The CPU socket is also called a CPU slot. It contains one or more mechanical components that provide mechanical and electrical connections between the PCB and the microprocessor, okay, or the CPU. Therefore, you can install a CPU on a motherboard without soldering. And lastly, the power supply connector or the power supply plug-in. Uh, power supply provides the necessary electrical power to let the computer to work. Okay, it takes, uh, it takes standard 110 volts AC power to direct current power of 12 volt, 5 volt, 3.3 volt, and etc. Okay, so that concludes uh, the different parts of the motherboard and its functions. Thank you.